What is up guys, since a lot of people actually requested this, um, I will be showing you guys how to set up groups in Bucket with the uh, Essentials Group Manager plugin. Um, this basically means you can set up like newbie uh, owner groups and you can sign people to them and they will have the permissions from that group so they will be able to use plugins only for that group. Um, I will go to my servers. So basically you want to start your server at least once and you'll get a group manager folder if you got the uh, essentials group manager. You also want to have group bridge. No idea what that does, but whatever. So go to this, go to your world file, whatever that's called. Um, go to groups, open with notepad++ plus plus if you got that. Uh, I highly suggest getting Notepad++, plus plus. it's free to download, so as you can see I got um, newbie group, a member group, a VIP, moderator, admin and owner. So the way I do it is, I think, this was the default one, it will basically see, say default. Um, We'll say something like this. Default, and I will that will have all these kind of things. Um, you can change the name to whatever you want. I put my newbie, as you can see. Uh, make sure it stays in line with everything else. Uh, if there's like a a space, or um, if you tapped or something like that. It will corrupt the file, so it will not work. You have to have everything perfectly fine, perfectly um, aligned to each other. So, as you can see, you got the default group. This will basically mean, um, will people who first join get assigned to this group? Uh, if so, put yes. With all the others, you just put false, as you can see here. Uh, the permissions, you can have um, plugin permissions. I think every time you install a plugin you need to give the permissions because uh, most likely they will be um, op only, so you have to give them permissions. The way you do that is just have a new one, have a dash, um, have two of these sites and have the permissions. Let's say uh, essentials dot spawn or something and that will give them the slash spawn command um, I will delete this permissions there we go um, as you can see here there's a dash sign before the command that basically means you're taking away his command um, as you can see it will get uh, bucket default and you can basically go to users. No, 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 no. Fuck sake, fuck sake, fuck sake. You can go to global groups. And as you can see, essentials. What was it again? Um, bucket default. So let's go ahead and find. Bucket default will have bucket broadcast user minus the slash plugin. So um, I have no idea what that actually does, but I just leave it like that, and uh, it will have like minus bucket dot command dot kill stuff like that. Um, so what it all comes down to, if you want to add a permission to a group, go to the go to the permissions, uh, hit enter have a dash, two of these flying comma signs have the permission, uh, these are case, case sensitive and you can find the permission notes on the uh, plugin page so you have to google and basically give them the permissions if you want to give a group every single permission you can basically do um, the permission name, let's say I want to give them everything from the chest shop I could do um, chest drop dot star. Star basically means um, 
well, that star sign basically means it will um, give them everything from that permission. So if you go to owner, you can see it will have a star sign. It will be everything from all the permissions. Um, some plugins will only have op, like give ops all permissions. So you might need to add the um, permission name and uh, star. So uh, they get all the plugin permissions. Inheritance basically means um, what kind of group they can get the permissions from. So as you can see here, it will get all the permissions from the newbie class and it will get these permissions as well. So you can inherit all the permissions from a previous class so you don't have to type them all over again. Info, you can set a prefix. As you can see, I got a newbie here. Um, these are Minecraft color codes. Uh, basically, you do and nine. Nine is dark blue, I think. And you can do all kinds of stuff. So um, builds, you want to have that to true. It will be false by default, but that means they can't place or destroy blocks. And suffix, you need a chat plugin. And I don't think essential chat actually shows um, prefixes, uh, suffix, sorry. Suffix is basically the text that I type. So the text will be colored, but you need a different chat plugin. So that's basically how you set up uh, groups. You can just like copy, just space here and paste. And let me quickly see. And as you can see here, remember, you have to go all the way back to this first line. And that will make the another group. But I'm not going to do that. I'm going to close this off. Let's see if it's actually changed or not, because I don't want that. VIP member. Nope, everything is still the same. Okay. So that's basically how to set up groups. And... If I go in game right now, I don't think my server is on right now. Start. Okay, if I go in game right now and I type, you'll see owner. Uh, let me D up myself real quick so as you can see my name is in like gold so you can set the names and you can see I got a prefix if I had a suffix uh, my text would be in gold as well but of course I don't uh, have a chat plugin uh, other than essentials chat so uh, you go basically to the console you do man demote the name uh, you can just have like a little part of his name doesn't really matter and let's say we go to newbie if I talk now it will be like blue and it will say newbie stuff like that so uh, you can do man promote uh, gray owner and it will get me back to the owner you can also give individual people permissions um, let me quickly see where it is plugins group manager you go to the world you go to users uh, there's like a bunch of people in here some are even banned but whatever so I could go to the permissions I could like um, let's do it on a user that's banned so Delete the brackets, hit enter, and hit whatever you want to give them. Let's say I want to give his everything. I just do this and it will give him everything, but only that user, not the group. So that's basically how to set up groups. It's kind of complicated, but once you get it, it's really, really easy.
Um, only the plugins are kind of annoying. You have to type them every time. Every time, but I think there's like some uh, command that you could do in a console. I think it was like man uh, g at p or something, something like that. It was a, like a really weird thing, like group add permissions and then you can add them in game so you don't have to uh, reload your server so you can add permissions in game and uh, yeah it's basically how to set up groups um, hope you guys liked it if you're still having questions um, leave them in the comments below and yeah I will be back next time for another tutorial this will be Centrex or um, well Centrex yeah <laughs> I kind of forgot my own name for a second. Um, so this has been Centrex. I'm out.